Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to Astra 2022 program presented by Akka IAS Academy. In this particular video, I will be dealing with few of the problems based upon calendars as well as direction as and also reading comprehension. Okay, so let's begin with the first question. It's a simple question. Which day of the week was 12th February 1941? Okay, first what you need to do? See, I request you guys, if at all you have not watched the previous video where I have discussed the previous concepts, uh, concepts based upon the calendars, uh, kindly I request you to go and watch the video and come and solve the problems here, okay? So what you need to do, check first actually 1941, is it a leap year? So 41 divided by 4, it doesn't go right, so it is an ordinary year. So uh, from right side we need to come here, okay? So uh, 1941, how I will be splitting it here? 1600 plus 300 plus 40 plus January full month 41st year January full month and till 12th February okay for 1600 0 ordinary days and for 300 1 ordinary days and 40 we need to calculate here how many leap years and how many ordinary days so 40 divided by 40 is nothing but 10 so in but 40 years there are 10 leap years and 30 ordinary years okay and january is there okay january means three odd days and 12 february is there nothing but 12 days okay so 10 leap years okay in leap year two ordinary days will be there two odd days will be there not ordinary days two odd days will be there so this will be 20 and uh, 30 ordinary years okay in ordinary year one odd day will be there so 30 years so this is 30 here okay so 30 plus 20 will be 50 here and 0 plus 1 plus 50 plus 12 plus 3 that is 15 okay total we need to add this okay 50 plus 65 plus 66 so 66 odd days we got here okay and 66 divided by 7 okay 66 divided by 7 66 divided by 7 so how many days I'll be getting here S uh, 9 7 are 63 okay it goes with 9 here it 9 7 are 63 and 3 odd days are remaining here okay so uh, it is nothing but 9 9 weeks plus 3 odd days are remaining here so 3 I got means actually 3 falls on Wednesday. So Wednesday is the answer here. Okay, moving on to the next question. On what dates of June 1764? So June 1764, a month is given here. Okay, June 1764, Monday falls. Okay, so in, uh, in that particular month, okay, in the particular year that 1764 in that particular month june so monday falls on which dates this is the options given here so fourth date or 11th date or 18th date or 25 so like this okay see here i'll be splitting it now so 16 1764 can be written as 1600 plus 100 1700 i got here plus 60 so 1760 i got here okay plus 3 years 1763 I got and January 64th year January February March April May and June okay May and June 1st till June 1st we will calculate on what day that June 1st falls then we will be able to calculate how many Mondays will be there here okay see simple guys okay so this I'll be rating as 1600 okay plus 100 plus this 60 plus 3 can be written as 63 no need to uh, it, uh, it, uh, no need to split there okay 63 and in this 63 years how many leap years and how many ordinary years are there we need to find so divided upon 4 okay so uh, 6 4 1 times and 2 4 5 are 20 so 15 leap years are there okay so 15 leap years are there and 63 minus 15 is 48 okay so plus 48 ordinary years yes or no 15 leap years and 48 ordinary years 
and January, February, March, so, and it goes on. Okay, uh, plus January, plus February, plus March, plus April, plus May, and June first. Okay, so this will be I'll be writing it as see here, sixteen hundred means actually zero plus in one hundred five ordinary days will be there. So plus so 15 leap years so in each leap year two odd days will be there so 15 into 2 that will be 30 and 48 ordinary years will be there so in each ordinary year one odd day will be there so 48 into 1 is 48 so plus and in january 3 okay three odd days will be getting and in february uh, if at all it's a leap year so we'll be checking it here so first step what we need to do is whether 1764 is a leap year or not we need to find out so that i stop i eliminated so kindly take cautious about that guys okay 64 divided by 4 it goes right 4 1 times 4 6 are 24 so 16 there so february instead of 0 i'll be rating it as 1 here so 1764 is a leap year okay i'll be erasing this here okay so plus 1 uh, february so then march uh, march again 3 so march april again 2 then 3 okay so uh, plus 1st june okay see this is the total i need to do here okay so upon adding i'll be getting it as uh, see here 5 plus 78 plus uh, 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so 13 so this is nothing but 78 plus 5 plus 13 we'll be getting 8 plus 3 is okay 96 okay so 96 uh, what i should do 96 divided by 7 so 96 divided by 7 is uh it it doesn't go fully be 197 one times 7 is a 7 so 2 is remaining 7 3 is a 21 okay so 13 weeks 21 so 21 plus uh, 5 okay so plus 5 days 13 weeks plus 5 days so what i got here is so 5 5 odd days i got here okay 5 means what actually it is it is friday so first june first june 1764 is friday okay question asked to find how many mondays will be there okay on what date monday will be following here okay see here if at all i got friday as first june then obviously fourth june 1764 will be monday yes or no so in this i need to add seven here okay so plus seven seven plus four is eleven so 11th june will be monday yes or no 11th june will be monday again plus 7 so 18th june will be monday then so again plus 7 yes or no 25th june again it will be monday yes or no so how many dates i got here uh, 4 and 11 and 18 and 25 4 11 18 and 25 so you need not to calculate all this the initial date you got here means you compare with the options and you'll be arriving to the answer here guys okay simple but what you need to do is these calculations it should be done in a faster pace then only you'll be solving the uh, question in a lesser time okay so moving on to the next question the calendar for the year 2007 will be same for the year okay uh, actually it's a very simple question guys actually the calendar for the year 2007 will be same for the year four options have been given here okay when you know the concepts clearly then only you will be solving uh, then only you will be able to solve this problem in a very simple format okay see here friends actually the year 2007 it has been given here okay so we know that we know that till 2000 year there will be zero odd days okay so then seven remaining is there so seven upon four 
so in in seven years how many leap years will be there four one times will go so one leap year will be there and six ordinary year will be there so one leap year means two odd days and six ordinary day means six odd days so six plus two is nothing but eight so eight eight can be written as one week plus one odd day yes or no so for 2007 for 2007 there is one odd day so 2008 okay it's a leap year okay 2008 is a leap year so two odd days will be there and for 2009 one odd day will be there and for 2010 it will be one and for uh, 2011 2011 it will be again one and for 2012 again it's a leap year so two odd days will be there so count here okay till here count one two plus one three four five six seven eight okay so totally there will be eight odd days till 2012 okay so if at all there is if at all when you count it comes to the seven okay this seven should be taken care of okay why seven should be taken care of because repetition of calendar year okay calendar year or calendar days happens actually for every interval of seven because if at all uh, monday occurs on first of plus seven that is eighth monday occurs okay similarly the year repetition also occurs for a seven years interval okay but in 2012 because of its it's a leap year there will be eight years so again the calendar will be moving forward here okay so 2013 again one uh, uh, one ordinary days will be there okay so again uh, 2014 so 2014 so again one ordinary day 2015 again one ordinary day and 2016 again it's a leap year so two ordinary days so how much uh, uh, till uh, how much is the count till here so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so 13 happened here so 2017 one ordinary days will be there so how many ordinary odd days will be there actually how many odd days happened till uh, 2007 to 2017 14 odd days happened 14 odd days happened this 14 odd days means actually it can be written as two weeks two weeks plus zero odd day yes or no zero odd days so the repetition of calendar that is nothing but the calendar what it was in 2007 will be equals to 2018 guys okay 2007 calendar will be equals to 2018 okay so if at all you know this concept it will be easy to solve the problem okay see here one more example i'll be taking of the same kind okay if at all question asks which year has the same calendar as that of 2009 2009 okay which year has the same calendar of the 2009 okay see friends actually for repetition how many odd days you need to require there are seven odd days okay for every repetition seven odd days need to be required okay so from 2009 okay so uh, for in how many years this seven odd days will be occurred here actually this seven odd days can be occurred in six years where there is five ordinary year and one leap year okay because in leap year two odd days will be there and in five ordinary years there will be one ordinary year each so five plus two that will be seven this seven how much uh, how, this seven odd days it occurred in how many years in six years this occurred here okay so from 2009 okay so from 2009 if at all you calculate 2009 has one ordinary year and 2010 has one ordinary year and 2011 has one ordinary year and 2012 this is a leap year it has two ordinary year and uh, 2013 it actually has one ordinary year one two three four five six okay and 2014 it has actually one ordinary year so 2009 this calendar repeats in 2014 here because how many odd days uh, uh, we need to get here so one two three four five six seven see seven ordinary days we got in uh, two, two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in 6 years. Okay, this concept of 7 you need to understand first. Okay, moving on to the next question.
Mr. X has three children. The birthday of the first child falls on the fifth Monday of April. That of the second one falls on the fifth Thursday of November. On which day is the birthday of his third child, which falls on twentieth December? Okay, this I'll be solving it in the next page, guys. So, uh, it's a this this problem is actually easy but quite lengthy. Okay, so after solving this problem in the, the in this lengthy method. The shortcut trick I'll be uh, sharing later on. Okay, see here. What is what is the actually what actually is the question here? Question says Mr. X has three children. Okay, the birthday of first child falls on the fifth Monday, not fifth. Uh, it's actually fifth Monday. Okay, the date has not been given here. Okay, it is telling that fifth Monday of April, uh, the birthday of the first child will be there, and that of the second child falls on the fifth Thursday of November. Okay. And on which day is the birthday of this child, third child, which falls on 28th December? So 28th December is the date, right? Okay. For the first two childs, it has been given that fifth Monday and fifth Thursday. Okay. See here, uh, April. April, how many days it has actually? 30 days. How many days are there in April? There are 30 days. Okay. To have five Mondays in a particular month, okay, or any day, okay, not even Monday. Monday, it it might be Monday or it might be Tuesday or it might be uh, Sunday, okay. To have five such days, what is the requirement here? That you need to understand here, okay. See, in a particular calendar between uh, one to thirty or one to thirty-one days, okay, one to thirty or one to thirty-one days, how many odd days are there? You need to calculate here okay if at all the uh, there are 30 days so 30 divided by 7 okay it is 7 4 times 7 4 28 and 2 will be remaining here it is nothing but actually in 30 days each day that is each monday or each tuesday or each wednesday that is from sunday to uh, so from sunday to saturday each day will be repeating four times and this remaining two days are there no actually they will be repeating for the fifth time okay see when you see the calendar you will be having a minimum of four mondays or minimum of four sundays okay from sunday to from sunday to saturday minimum of four times it will be occurring okay and any day between sunday to saturday it will be occurring for the fifth time Okay, any two days will be occurring for the fifth time. This concept when you get clear guys, then only the problem solving becomes easier for you. Okay, this concept you need to take care of. Okay, if at all you don't understand, kindly go to the calendar and check. See uh, how many uh, times the Monday has been repeated in that particular month. And if it is, and if at all uh, the month is of 31 days, actually the two days will be repeating for fifth time, right? There will be three days repeating for the fifth time. Okay. So this concept you need to take care of. Okay. So we shall we shall solve the problem now here. Okay. To have fifth Monday, to have five Mondays in that. So we have April. How many days we have? April has thirty days. April has thirty days. Okay. So to have the question says fifth Monday. Okay. Fifth Monday. That means Monday should be repeated for the fifth time. Okay in 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 normal times actually all the weeks will be repeating for the fourth time okay to monday should be repeating for the fifth time okay that means actually the month should be starting with the first the first day of the month it should be either should be it starting with the sunday or the first should be monday then only repetition happens for the fifth time okay see here this concept you need to take care of for the fifth Monday to occur in that particular month in that in that particular April month then the first day of the April it should be either Sunday or Monday okay then only for the five times Monday will be occurring in that particular month okay see here formula means actually how it works means four weeks four weeks plus two days four weeks plus two days we got here for 30 days yes or no for 30 days we got the formula four weeks plus two days okay see here 
so for one week how many days are there actually there are seven days okay so four into seven that will be 28 days plus two days okay so then 30 days will be the uh, total month okay see here the concept i'm explaining you guys okay and the question ask actually fifth monday okay if at all uh, f there there are two possibilities okay fifth monday in that particular month fifth monday means either the f it should be there are two days here right either the sunday should uh, sunday and monday will be there appearing for the fifth time or else it can be monday or tuesday there are two possibilities see here possibility one is either sunday or monday will be appearing for the fifth time or either monday or tuesday will be appearing for the fifth time okay so these will be the two days okay either sunday or monday or monday or tuesday there are two possibilities here okay then what will be the date actually of the fifth monday it it can be either 29th or 30th okay it can be either 29th or 30th okay see in the beginning only i told actually the month should be starting with either uh, sunday or monday okay there then only will be having two possibilities so then the fifth monday of the april will be on 29th or 30th okay see for each case we need to solve here if at all we take 29th is the correct date there are two possibilities so if at all we take the 29th april 29th april is on monday then what is the case we need to find the date uh, find the uh, find the particular date of the second child here okay the second child will be on the fifth thursday of november okay so 29th april so 30th april is the remaining date here so 30th april one day then april afterwards may may june july august september october okay till october i'll calculate the date here so may has how many days 31 days june has 30 days and july has 31 days and august has 31 days september has 30 days and october has 31 days okay so how many days till here over so 360 90 120 180 185 okay so till here from 20 uh, from 30th april onwards till october 31st i have 185 days till october 31st okay see friends actually till october 31st why i calculated means after october the question says the fifth thursday of the november okay if at all i find out the first day of the november uh, which which day uh, it is then it will be easy to calculate for the fifth day fifth thursday of that particular november so 185 days i got here so this 185 when i divide it by 7 okay so it, it goes by uh, 7 to the 14 14 plus 4 seven six of 42 okay so 26 weeks 42 plus three days okay 26 weeks plus three days okay so here this will be 185 days okay so 26 weeks means 182 days plus three days from which day we are calculating that is very important here okay from which day we are calculating from 30th april that is 29th april is monday from that day we will be calculating here okay see here the concept be, the concept is very clear here okay uh, 182nd day this will also be monday itself 182nd day because the weeks complete right the week will be completed here 182nd day will be uh, monday itself okay so to, to get october 31st more three days are being added okay monday more three days so one plus one plus one so monday tuesday wednesday and thursday so that is nothing but 31st october will be monday tuesday will be thursday you got it guys how i got the 31st october thursday so that that will that is, this is very important here okay 31st october is thursday okay 
if 31st october is thursday then if at all i add plus 7 to this okay 31st october plus 7 i add that will be 7th november 7th november again it will be thursday yes or no 7th november so plus 7 if i add then 14th november that will also be thursday so plus 7 if i add 21st november that will also be thursday so plus 7 i'll add so 28th november that will also be thursday after 28th i'll not be getting thursday in the same month okay in the same november month i got only 1 2 3 4 so 4 thursdays i got here so hence the possibility which i took in the earlier case that is 29th april if at all it falls on monday that possibility is wrong here guys because the question says fifth thursday because in when i when i have taken 29th uh, of that april it falls on monday then that possibility doesn't work here okay so it's nothing but actually the 30th uh, day of that april the 30th april it is monday guys then only the second option holds good here okay see here i'll calculate for the second case that is 30th april 30th april it falls on monday it falls on monday this is the correct actually okay 30th april is monday then 31st october will be wednesday okay how i got this 31st october as wednesday see here in the earlier case 29th april i have taken it on monday then i got 31st october as thursday in the earlier case which was wrong here now i have taken it as 30th april 30th april will be on monday okay one day extra I have taken here so then 31st october shall be wednesday only yes or no this concept you need to understand here see here in the earlier case it was actually 185 days so when i have taken 20 30th october as monday no no 30th april as mon as monday 30th april as monday then the days will be reduced to 184 okay so 184 means actually uh, 182 plus 2 so 182 plus 2 so 182 will be monday only and plus 2 monday means tuesday wednesday okay this second will be on wednesday so this second is nothing but two days will be that is 31st october okay see when i got 31st october as wednesday 31st october as wednesday then plus 7 31st plus 7 that will be equals to 7th november will be wednesday if at all 7th november is wednesday then see here 31st october is on wednesday is nothing but actually between here first first november it shall be thursday yes or no it shall be thursday yes or no then 8th november it will be thursday so 8 plus 7 8th november is thursday 8 plus 7 is 15 so that will be again thursday so 15 plus 7 that will be 22nd that will also be thursday 22nd plus 7 that is 29th 29th that will also be thursday okay how many thursdays i got in this november month see here first second third fourth and fifth so this is the fifth thursday of november month which falls on 29th november okay this i got here 29th november uh, 29th november is fifth thursday 29th november is fifth thursday this is the second child's birth date here okay guys so uh, moving on to the next step here see the problem becomes easier now 
28th, 29th November is Thursday. Okay. So then what is the uh, date we need to find? 20th December we need to find, right? 20th December. Okay. How many days are remaining after 29th? So one day is remaining in the November month after 29th plus 28th December means plus 20 days. So that will be 21 days. So 21 days obviously it goes by 7, 7, 3 times. So actually 3 weeks are there. So the repetition occurs every for 7 days I told. So if 29th November is on Thursday, then actually 20th December will also be Thursday. Yes or no? So this is the answer here. Actually Thursday is the answer guys. Okay. Uh, the other shortcut method see I'll be solving it in the next page guys the question says fifth Monday fifth Monday of April okay fifth Monday of April okay so uh, by calculations we got two options that that is it might be either 29th or 30th April yes or no 29th April or 30th April we got here so later on fifth Thursday fifth Thursday okay so this also might be either 29th or 30th November okay in November month the date might be 29th or uh, 30th okay uh, fifth Thursday will, uh, will be occurring based upon this fifth Monday concept okay this will be linking here okay so see here friends actually the second child's uh, date should not be actually exactly calculated right from the here only two assumptions can be made and further it can be calculated here okay see if at all let's assume that is 30th November it shall be the Thursday okay from second step only will be able to uh, calculate here okay so 30th November shall be Thursday so therefore after 21 days again it will be Thursday only because every seven days the uh, day repeats okay for every seven days the day repeats okay so after 21 days means that is nothing but 21st December will be Thursday that is 20th December it will be Wednesday then okay 30th December will be 20th December will be in Wednesday when you check the options guys actually when you check the options there are there is no weakness here because 28th December there is no weakness here obviously uh, the uh, the possibility what we took here that 39 30th November might be Thursday that will be wrong here okay then it will be 29th November the 29th November will be Thursday here okay 29th November will be Thursday then uh, actually the 20th December 28th December it falls on Thursday here okay so by looking at the option only you will be able to eliminate here okay so compare the time guys actually uh, previous method actually it took a uh, uh, previous uh, traditional method it took a bit larger amount of time whereas this shortcut method actually it's taking around two to three minutes okay uh, after explaining i'm it's taking two to three minutes okay so uh, try to apply the concepts properly okay when you know the concepts actually in depth then only you'll be able to solve the problems in a shorter time okay so moving on to the next question so the next two or three questions will be based upon directions guys okay uh, in directions there is no uh, basic concepts what you need to know actually it's a common sense then we'll be solving to the problem here then and there only i'll be explaining okay ranjit from his home he walks 100 meters towards east and then turns right towards and right and walks 550 meter after this he walks 20 meter towards southwest then finally turns 225 degree anti clockwise this needs to be taken care of and then walks 500 meters to reach his grandparents house in which direction Ranjit has to walk in order to reach his house this is the question see here friends I'll be solving this problem here uh, kindly uh, take uh, take care of uh, what I'm doing here okay how I'm writing the graph here okay so this is the basic uh, direction right what do you know north east and west and south so for reference sake you will be writing the here okay so or Ranjit from his house he walks 100 meters okay let it be a point A here okay uh, point A might be house he walks 100 meters towards east okay towards east means towards like this okay this will be the point B 
so this is 100 meters let us assume okay so then he turns right and walks 50 meters so he'll be turning right means he'll be turning to this direction and he'll be walking 50 meters so to the new position he has arrived that is c here okay so then after the he walks uh, after this he walks 20 meters towards southwest okay so what is the southwest direction here see guys actually the southwest direction is this one here okay so from here he'll walk southwest direction this to the in this direction he'll walk so how many direct how many meters he'll be walking after this he walks 20 meters towards southwest okay 20 meters towards southwest means a, a smaller line i should draw here see i'll erase this part okay let us let us be the that uh, let us that be the new point here let that be the new point here okay so d this will be 20 meters okay so then 20 meters towards his uh, 20 meters then he finally turns 225 degree anti-clockwise guys okay this you need to take care of here okay see here actually uh, that person in which direction he is facing actually in this direction he is facing the he is facing okay so for reference sake you need to draw a line like this here okay so from which direction he is facing for reference sake draw a line like this okay then only you will be uh, able to uh, arrive to the correct uh, solution guys okay so if at all he is facing this direction then he is turning anti-clockwise of 225 degree so anti-clockwise means towards this direction this is the anti-clockwise okay so in this direction he is uh, uh, facing he is turning 225 degree so uh, this will be 180 degree okay this is 180 degree and uh, 45 degree 180 degree plus 45 degree is 225 degree so uh, this will be 90 degree right okay half of that 90 degree means like this here okay this direction he'll be moving this direction he'll be moving okay how much how much meters he move turns 225 degree anti-clockwise direction and walks 500 meters so 500 meters means actually this is 50 meters see here he, he walks for 500 meters I see I'll erase this here for reference sake okay so uh, the direction what we got is after two turning 225 degrees uh, anti-clockwise this direction we got and he is moving for 500 meters so somewhere he will come around here okay so this new point will be because this will be 500 meters yes or no this is the figure we got here this is the final point d and e is the final point of arrival here okay so in which direction ranjit has to walk in order to reach his home so the reference diagram again you want to you need to draw here see here he is facing this direction so a reference diagram you need to make and where is this a actually it is here so what is this direction actually this direction is north east west and south so this direction is southwest here okay southwest is the right answer here yes or no a simple question but what you need to take care of is drawing this map is very much important right okay drawing this map is very much important so you need not make any mistake there here okay moving on to the next question Sauram from school he walks 100 meters towards south uh, to reach hospital and then walks 30 meters towards northeast finally he turns 270 degree clockwise direction and walks 2 km to reach his house in which direction Saurav has to move in order to reach the school so he will be solving this problem here okay what is the first point actually Saurav from school he walks 100 meter towards south okay so what is south here north east west and south so let there be a school here okay uh, Saurav from school he walks 100 meters towards south so this shall be 100 meters this shall be 100 meters so from a point that is school to he has arrived to b point now okay 100 meters to south to reach hospital so this is hospital and then walks 30 meters towards northeast direction okay what is the northeast direction guys here see here northeast means actually this is the direction here okay so he is moving northeast direction 30 meters okay simple 
in this direction he moves for 30 meters and he will be let us consider this as 30 meters so this is the C point here okay so 30 meters he moved in the northeast direction finally he turns 270 degree clockwise direction this is very important guys here okay this is very important see observe here so what is the direction he is facing actually this is the direction he is facing so plus mark a reference line you need to make here okay so then if at all he is facing that uh, that particular direction he he turns clockwise so clockwise means actually it, it should be turned like this here okay so this direction he'll be taking a clockwise 270 degree okay so 270 degree means actually uh, this is 90 degree and this is 180 degree that is 90 plus 90 is 180 and one more 90 will be there so 270 degree so 270 degrees means actually he'll be taking this turn okay till here so the new direction will be here this guys okay the new direction he'll be moving in this direction in this direction he'll be moving okay that is very much important so uh, finally he turns 270 degree clockwise direction and walks for two kilometers okay these are 100 meters and 300 meters so two kilometers will be something this this much big line here okay so two kilometers he will be walking here finally he walks for two kilometers to reach the to reach his home so his home will be here in which direction Saurav has to move in order to reach school okay make a reference point again here so this is the reference point where his school located this is located here school is located here so it is nothing but southeast direction so option A is the right answer here okay southeast direction from home in southeast direction the school lies uh, so then southeast is the right answer here so moving on to the next question so it's a direction problem a big a, 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 a bit bigger problem okay a lengthier problem a started from his house and walks 20 meters towards east okay see simultaneously i'll be drawing the diagram here uh, kindly pause the video and uh, take down the question here okay so a starts from his house and walked 20 meters towards east so let this be point here a so 20 meters towards east so this will be the point 20 meters okay uh, a started from his house and walked 20 meters towards his where his friend b joined him okay here a and b will be there so b joined him they together walked 10 meters in the same direction so again 10 meters they walked in the, this direction so this is the new point here so make, make a, a bigger visible point here okay so this is 10 meters in that same direction they walked then a turned left okay a see this is the direction they are facing means so a turned left means he'll be walking here in this direction he'll be walking a turned left while b turned right so b turned right means b will be uh, walking in the opposite direction here okay and traveled two meter and eight meters respectively so two meter and eight meter so this i'll be erasing here so this that the, this shall be two meters and this shall be uh, eight meters here okay this shall be 2 meters and this shall be 8 meters 2 meters and 8 meters okay so uh, a is here and b is here now so again b turned left to travel 4 meters okay b turned left okay b turned left to travel 4 meters so this is 4 meter here okay so new point b we, we got here 4 meters again b turned left to travel 4 meters followed by 5 meters towards his right so right he will be taking 5 meters so this will be the new position so this is 5 meters followed by 5 meters to his right to reach his office so this is the final destination of b here okay guys then a turned right and traveled 12 meters to reach his office a turned right okay right means here okay so this will be because 4 meters so reached how many meters 12 meters okay 12 meters so a's office is here so b office is here this is the diagram we got here okay so what is the question what is the shortest distance between two office okay or oh, this and this we need to find out here okay 
this we need to find out what is the shortest distance between two offices so for this we need to calculate here see here actually guys if at all I, I draw a straight line here see see this will be 8 and this will be 2 so total will be 10 here so 10 will be here and this will be 4 so total will be 14 here so 14 I got here and 4 is here and total is 12 okay uh, 12 minus 4 is 8 so this part will be 8 here see and this actually I have made a mistake here right this is not 14 actually this is 15 so while writing kindly take cautious here right because why it is 14 means actually this 5 this 5 meters I written in the right side okay so uh, 10 plus 5 that will be 15 not 14 okay the 14 I had taken this 4 I had taken actually this 4 is for this part okay so uh, the reference diagram will be like this okay the reference diagram will be like this somewhat like this so this is 15 here and this is 8 here so this hypotenuse we need to calculate here so 8 plus 15 is nothing but actually uh, this the rule is nothing but actually 15 square plus 8 square will be equals to hypotenuse square okay so 15 plus 8 that will be equals to 17 okay 17 is the answer here yes or no so b 17 meters is the right answer here okay guys so moving on to the next question so this is the passage here many opportunities to harness the highly skewed seasonal and spatial distribution of monsoon flows which occur in four month period from june to september annually have been lost okay many opportunities to harness the highly skewed seasonal and spatial distribution of monsoon flows which occur in a four month period have been lost since these few months account for most of the rainfall and consequent fresh water availability the need for holding rainwater in reservoirs for subsequently releasing it for the use over the year is a necessity nobody can afford to overlook okay what is the necessity the need for holding rainwater in reservoirs for subsequently releasing it for the use over the year is a necessity that nobody can afford to overlook climate change will continue to affect weather conditions and create water shortages and excesses while millions suffer from droughts and floods waters in the country waters in the country in many rivers is flow unutilized and are discharged into the sea every year so okay this passage is mainly talking about the challenges okay uh, why the challenges need to be addressed okay the question is with reference to the above passage which of the following could be most rational and practical implications for India most rational implications for India okay interlinking of river should be undertaken so it the uh, the passage mainly speaks about the challenges faced right but and this is the practical solution practical implication means practical solution it might be one of the practical solution okay this can be considered a network of dams and canals should be built across uh, the country for proper distribution of water this also can be considered farmers should be provided easy loans no nowhere in the passage we are talking about the farmers and loans here usage of water for agriculture should be regulated by law no no law has been taken care of in the passage here distribution of river water among regions should be regulated by the union government no nowhere in the passage these three uh, these three points are been talking about so option one and two is the most probable so hence option a is the right answer here okay moving on to the next passage people will invest in education whenever they are granted the economic freedom fully enjoy its benefits when you know, freedom to fully enjoy its benefits again this is for obvious reason that the return on education increases as the level of economic freedom rises when people thanks to lower tax rates are allowed to retrain most of the higher income that they gain from each incremental level of the education it makes eminent sense to invest in the education okay when when see here this is very important here when people thanks what what do the people thank for the lower tax rates are allowed to retain most of the higher income they gain from each incremental level of education it makes eminent sense to invest in the education on the other hand when the government decide to tax higher income of educated individuals at even higher rates it makes very little sense to invest in the education for oneself or educating oneself further the same incentives apply to parents who decide on whether to invest in their children's education okay uh, two contradicting statements it's actually giving here actually 
true contradicting statements when people thanks when do people thank to lower tax rates okay uh, people thank for lower tax lower tax rates and uh, people are allowed to retain most of the higher income what they gain from each of the incremental level of education if at all due to the higher level of education he is earning more and also the state has been uh, taxing very less amount or uh, very less amount then more amount will be with individual only then the education makes sense that 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 is the uh, idea of that that statement okay whereas if at all government decides to tax higher income of educated individuals at even higher rates if at all he is earning more and he's been taxed more then what people will do is it makes very lens to very little sense to invest in the educating ones further okay so then people think that educating oneself further uh, if at all we earn more and we need to pay tax more we need to pay uh, tax at a higher price so then it makes no sense okay so the same condition applies for the uh, pay parents who decide on whether to invest in the children's education or not okay this is the idea of the passage here so what is the question here with reference to above passage the following assumptions have been made lower tax rates in a country invariably translate into greater investment in greater higher education no it's actually the probable reason okay but the uh, passage says that invariably translate no this is wrong here there, there is a possible it, it's a possibility but the passage says here invariably invariably transfer so this this statement can be negated here okay investment in education of child ensures their economic freedom okay investment or in education uh, of children ensures their economic freedom no actually uh, the passage is taking is speaking about the true contradicting ideas okay investment in education should be made or not when it is made and when it is not made okay the two uh, ideas the passage is speaking about investment in the education of children ensures their economic freedom no this statement can also be negated here okay economic freedom has a positive impact on building up human capital so this is the most probable option here okay economic freedom means uh, the it has most positive impact on building up the human capital so option 3 okay this is the most probable option so c only is the right answer for this okay our urban bodies cannot possibly ensure sustainable delivery of water in our cities unless financing mechanism are put in place water delivery requires heavy investment in collecting it from a natural source treating it to make portable and laying a distribution network of pipes for delivery to the users it also requires investments in sewerage infrastructure and sewage treatment plants so that the sewers can carry waste water to these plants to ensure that no untreated sewage is discharged back into natural water bodies if our cities were rich enough to meet the entire cost water could be delivered free they are not okay what is the question here what is the most logical and crucial message conveyed by the passage here okay urban local bodies must recover cost through user charges this can be uh, incurred upon okay most logical because uh, the treatment and uh, to get fetching the water and to treat it it actually the cost so that cost can be made through user charges so this can be the logical reference here option b urban local bodies are not efficient so no this is wrong here not efficient means no actually this is wrong here water shortage in our cities is a perennial problem no this is also wrong perennial problem is also wrong in the view of the water crisis in our cities there is an urgent need to limit the population of this limit the population no this is also wrong here okay see here guys actually how i am eliminating the options whenever uh, options i am reading and which part i come there and how i eliminate the options so you need to uh, learn that okay when you learn that then only uh, arriving to the right option will be very much easier for you okay thank you guys uh, this is it for the today's video uh, hope i have discussed well all these questions and answers if at all you find this video informative kindly uh, share uh, and subscribe to our akis academy channel also do like and comment in the comment section uh, god bless you all uh, all the best for your exams we shall catch up in the next video